Illinois. Welcome to Football Friday, week four, the kickoff of the Big 12 Conference Tournament. Last week, Bloomington celebrated a thrilling win over Normal Community, a win that got them in to the playoff. Their reward tonight, a trip to Peoria Stadium to take on the number one seed Peoria High Lions. And Bloomington came to play. Down 14 zip in the second quarter. Quarterback Ben Wellman rolls out and scores. Bloomington's on the board 14 to 7. Moments later, Bloomington gets the ball back. Wellman's looking for Trey Jenkins in the end zone. And Jenkins with the catch. And blows a kiss to Mama and Grandma in the stands. Yeah, this game's tied 14-14, but Peoria High got things going. Darius Beckham to Eddie Clark. Boy, is Clark fun to watch. The tailback gets a big first down here. Then watch Eddie Clark with a burst of speed. Like a rocket, he blasts through the line into the end zone for a touchdown right here for Peoria High. Another big night for our 25 sports athlete of the week, Darius Beckham. He'll call his own number and score right here. You see the final score 50 to 35, but I want to mention one more number, number 100. Win number 100 for our good buddy, Peoria High head coach Tim Thornton right there, win number 100. An all ND battle has Peoria Notre Dame hosting Quincy Notre Dame in another Big 12 tournament game. Peoria Notre Dame on their opening drive. Here they come. Remember we had the story on Thunder and Lightning? Lightning is Ian Lemons showing off the speed for 20 yards. Then Joey Jokish with the pass. You don't see Peoria Notre Dame pass it very often out of the wing tee, and they surprise Quincy Notre Dame. Lemons makes the catch in the flat. You're not going to catch him. He shows off the track speed. Seven zip Peoria Notre Dame. But boy, the Quincy Notre Dame defense made it tough after that. Quincy Notre Dame eliminates Peoria Notre Dame 19. To 14. Normal community at Danville. Let's check out the highlights from the feed down there in Danville. It's going to be the quarterback right here, Chase Weiss, on the long pass down the field. Takes it all the way down to the two yard line. A big pass right there is going to set up a touchdown run by the normal community Ironman. The uh, touchdown run right here by Ben Larson. That was Terrence Washington on the great catch. Then it's going to be another nice pass by Chase Weiss to set up another touchdown here in the second quarter. Normal community knocks out number two, Dan. 31 to 14. Now to the Middle Illini Conference in a six week all conference schedule. Only these guys, the Washington Panthers, are undefeated as we kick off week four tonight. The Panthers at home hosting the Peak and Dragons are looking to go. 4-0. We'll start the highlights not with offense or defense, but special teams. It's going to be Payne Smith. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, takes it right off his foot for the block punt right there. Sets up Washington in the red zone. Washington goes to their power back. It's going to be Cade Beachied with the touchdown right here for the Panthers. I like those orange unis, huh? Touchdown Washington. They were up 7-zip. Pekin trying to get back in the ball game. Their quarterback, Wyatt Van Ness, is going to hook up with Logan Buck. Buck makes a terrific catch on the long Pekin Dragon pass. Catching at the high point right there. But moments later, the Washington defense steps up. It's going to be Tyler Richardson with the interception for the Panthers. Nice catch by Richardson, and he's going the other way for Washington. That's going to set up a touchdown by the Panthers. This time they go to the air. Their quarterback, Nick Williams, is looking for Isaac Mapson, the big six foot five basketball player. He wins the jump ball. Touchdown. Washington's 4 0. They win it 21 6. Canton hosting Limestone this evening. First quarter, Callie Stein, our good buddy, the power running back. He was one of our athletes of the week a year ago. Great kid. Callie Stein is going to barrel into the end zone for a touchdown spin and score standing up. That eventually falls down. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down, right? Kelly will get back up for Canton. Then Nick Oldfield's going to find Turner Plumer for the two-point conversion. Canton had an eight-zip lead. That's pass interference. Forget the flag. Touchdown. Two-point conversion, Canton. Second quarter, the Rockets fire back. Davian Nunez. 55 yards running right down Main Street for the touchdown for Limestone. Then their great quarterback, Travis Lutz, is going to hook up with Sam Morse for a two-point conversion. I know the record doesn't show it, but Limestone's one of the most improved teams in the area. They have been really, really competitive. Nice two-point conversion right here, but Canton's going to hold on and win it behind their quarterback, Nick Oldfield, and running back, Kelly Stein. It's Canton a winner in this game, 28. 22 Little Giants. Dunlap steps out of the conference. Get this, first time ever that Dunlap has played Peoria Richwoods in football. Two schools only about eight miles apart, but keep in mind for a long time, Dunlap was a very small school before their enrollment surge. Opening drive for Dunlap, Gabe Calhoun on the jet sweep. Get used to seeing Gabe Calhoun. Dunlap's Braden Dietz, the 30 yard strike to Gabe Calhoun. Touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, pretty nice senior night for Gabe Calhoun. Two first quarter touchdowns and he's not done. This Braden Dietz is going to Augustana as a linebacker. He's going there as a missile.
Pete seeking the quarterback there, gets the quarterback sack. Richwood's Cam Culberson, really good football player, sniffs out the screen and makes the play right here. But on special teams, it's the hat trick for Gabe Calhoun. He scored on a run, he scored on a pass, he's going to score on a 50-yard punt return. He turns the corner, he's got a wall of Dunlap blockers, and he'll waltz into the end zone. Dunlap beats Peoria Richwoods by a score of 48 to nothing. The Morton Potters stepped out of conference and lost in overtime down in Jacksonville. Normal West game tomorrow at Champaign Centennial canceled. West will advance. Normal West will play Peoria High in round two. Normal Community will play at Quincy Notre Dame. Time for a break. Who's the champion? Or will there be champions in the heart of Illinois Conference? We head to the HOI.